Okay, hi there YouTube friends and subscribers. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of my 24 volt inverter generator ch start charger that I've been waiting for for about six days. My switch to 24 volts for the off-grid part of my system begins today. So I'm, I'm going to go over here and open the box real quick. Just got it. Here we go. Okay, so there you have the unboxing. I got the camera on a tripod, trying not to move too suddenly here. Now, in about a half an hour, my batteries will be floating, and I'm going to disconnect the battery bank, uh, disconnect the Outback Flex Max 80, and then I'm going to run the two big solar trackers. 6 panel and the 8 panel into this at 24 volts and that's going to be my new system um, I went with this Ames charger inverter because it came highly recommended to me I haven't really seen too many negative things about it my hesitation was that it draws a good bit of power doing nothing at 3 amps which is pretty heavy but being as my property here is for sale and I'm not sure what I'm going to end up with if I move here and do another 
when I do another solar project, I'll probably switch everything over to 48 volts, but I'm not going to do it at this point in time. So anyway, as a look at the uh, Ames inverter, came very well packaged. I got that from uh, Inverters R Us, 749 delivered. And uh, I'll be filming throughout the course of the day, making these changes. I just got uh, tired of tripping over extension cords. My 1500 watt go power has been running on the living room, the refrigerator, and four nights straight we had temperatures during the day in the 90s with crazy humidity like 90%, 87%. I was able to also run my 8000 BTU air conditioner in my bedroom overnight on that go power while it was running the refrigerator also. And I never had my batteries down in the morning past 2.3, 2.4, I mean 12, 12.3, 12.4, so got plenty of power. The go power has a GFI switch, GFCI switch which this has here in the front, you can plug stuff into it. These do not like noise. I installed a uh, transfer switch on my power panel and hooked it all up and plugged it into that Go Power and the Go Power does not want to be hooked up to the transfer switch. It automatically trips the GFCI. There's too much noise in that box. So this one I'm gonna get, is going to get hardwired into my six switch transfer switch. And I'll be doing updates of that, as I said, throughout the day. So, there's part one. I've been waiting for this to show up so I could take my system down. So now I'm going to go disconnect the batteries, reconfigure everything. I got some nice bus bars came in or hook all this stuff up nice and tidy. So that's what I'll be doing the rest of the day. And I'll make some videos from time to time if I think of it once I get, get going to it. So anyway, this is part one of the switch over to 24 volts with my uh, Ames 3000 watt Global Series. Uh, sorry, I just kicked the uh, tripod. 24 volt 3000 watt inverter. I'm gonna have to uh, configure it all up. And probably by the time I get done filming this, my batteries will be on float, and I'll disconnect them. So that's it. That's part one. There'll be more coming. Thanks for watching. Over and out for now.